It doesn't take a calculator to figure out that financial frustrations can add up fast in the current economy. Debbie Kolpak crunches the numbers every month, pulling bills and studying statements for ways to save. Money. It's a crime. We had to tighten the belts, which meant not going out to eat as much, um, watching how much we spent every month, and trying to stay within our means. In her quest to write fewer checks each month, the married mother of two has turned for inspiration to 365 days on a budget, an advice and lifestyle blog. I check the blog every day. Um, I, there are several blogs that I read. Hers is one of them, and I do pull up every day to look at updates. The blog that chronicles the daily challenges and triumphs of a regular family as it works to achieve its financial goals is authored by UAB Assistant website. Professor of Finance, Stephanie Rauterkes. Because maybe there's some things that I learn as I go through the process that other people might benefit from too. Started on July 5th, Rauterkes is now typing into the second full month of 365 days on a budget. Some of the daily posts are written in the voice of a professor educating readers, others from the perspective of a wife and mother who hopes her experiences can help others avoid financial missteps. And while the professor mode is useful, I get the most comments when I'm anecdotal. Because even when I'm joking about buying 65 pounds of guinea pig pellets because I got a great deal, um, the, there's still a message there. You know, there's still a message there about financial responsibility, about shopping around, and, and all of these things. For Debbie Kolpak, the blog adds up to stronger finances and better decisions by her and her husband. I think it reinforces some of the decisions that we have made. Um, sometimes I think that we both feel like maybe we're flying blind at some of this, and are we doing the right thing? So from hearing somebody else's viewpoint and experiences, I can definitely relate to that.